All right, so in chapter one of The Geography of Bliss by Eric Weiner, the author starts his journey of happiness in the Netherlands. He aims to visit various countries around the world to determine where people are happy and why they're happy in these places. Um, he also is interested in where these various countries rank on the scale of happiness. The author mainly centers his trip around analyzing the data in the World Database of Happiness. However, he does discuss some of the research problems researchers encounter when trying to measure something as subjective as happiness. Um, one major problem is the social desirability bias. This happens when people do not answer questions related to their happiness. They don't answer these questions honestly because they are either afraid to make their country look poorly on the happiness scale or they're afraid of what other people might think of their answers to these questions. So they sort of play up their happiness a little bit. They, they make their answers appear more happy than what they actually are. Um, another point the author makes within this chapter is the fact that based on the data, most people are happier around the world. Most people are happier than what people commonly think. Um, a lot of people have the misconception that the world is more of an unhappy place versus more of a happy place because of the media and their coverage of events that are typically more on the unhappy side. Um, the author also it makes it a point to explore why the people in the Netherlands are so happy. And he comes to the conclusion that some of the reasons why people in the Netherlands are so happy are because they have access to health insurance, they have secure jobs with adequate vacation time, so they're able to take time to reflect and take time to just unwind and, and be happy. <laughs> um, and then he also attributes their ranking on, on the happiness scale to the culture's overall tolerance of different ideas, people, and other cultures. Um, in my opinion, I love this chapter. I thought it was a great way to, for the author to start off their book. Um, it, it really opened my eyes to just how important happiness is, not just within the culture of the United States, but just around the world, how it differs um, just in different cultures, how different cultures experience happiness. And I thought the, the author did a great job of being informative while also entertaining um, because some authors aren't so good at that. Um, but overall, I thought this was a really good chapter. I, I did wish the author included more about his different interactions with um, the Dutch people. Um, just so I could see whether there they whether basically whether he had different conversations if he had happier conversations with the Dutch people since the Netherlands ranked so highly on the happiness scale um but other than that I just I overall I enjoyed the chapter and I thought it was a great way to start off the book